New to tube feeding, it's not as complicated as it seems. Grab your calculator and follow along. Step one, determine what formula your patient needs. For this tutorial, we are assuming your patient is using a standard commercial formula and not making their own blenderized formula. So pick one and grab your formulary. You'll need to know how many calories per milliliter are in the formula, how many grams of protein per liter are in the formula, and what percentage of the formula is free water. Step two, calculate your patient's calorie, protein, and fluid needs. The patient's nutritional needs will depend on their age, sex, medical status, and level of activity. Pause the video while you calculate your patient's nutritional needs. Step three, now we're ready to calculate. Let's learn with an example. Our patient is ready to start tube feeding. His estimated calorie needs are 1,975 to 2,150 calories. An estimated protein needs are 85 to 100 grams. He needs about 2,000 milliliters of fluid per day. He doesn't have any unique medical concerns, so we're using a standard formula that is 1.2 calories per milliliter. This formula has 60 grams of protein per liter and is 78% water. Let's start by calculating the volume of formula this patient will need to meet his calorie needs. His calorie needs are 1,975 to 2,150. The formula has 1.2 calories per milliliter. So pick a number in his calorie range and divide it by 1.2. Here's an example. 2,000 calories divided by 1.2 calories per milliliter equals 1,667 milliliters of formula needed. Now check to see how many grams of protein this volume of formula will provide. First, we have to convert the volume from milliliters to liters, and we do this by dividing by 1,000. 1,667 milliliters of formula divided by 1,000 equals 1.667 liters of formula. Now, multiply the volume in liters by the grams of protein in each liter of formula. 1.667 liters of formula times 60 grams of protein per liter equals 100 grams of protein. Perfect! This volume of formula will meet the patient's calorie and protein needs. Next, we need to calculate how much fluid we need to provide in water flushes. First, determine how much free water is provided by the formula itself. Take the formula volume in milliliters and multiply by the percent of free water. 1,667 milliliters of formula times 78% free water equals 1,300 milliliters of free water. So the formula itself will provide 1,300 milliliters of free water. But our patient needs 2,000 milliliters of fluid per day. That means we need to give an extra 700 milliliters of fluid with our water flushes. Let's assume that this patient is receiving his tube feeding via a 24-hour pump infusion. This means we can and should give water flushes throughout the whole day. Many times, water flushes are given on a standard schedule, like every four hours, every three hours, or every two hours. To calculate the volume of each water flush, take the total volume of water flushes needed and divide it by the number of flushes throughout the day. For example, if we decide to give a water flush every three hours, that would be eight total flushes in a 24-hour day. Calculate the volume of each flush. 700 milliliters of water total divided by eight flushes equals 87.5 milliliters for each flush. With two feeding, it's common practice to round to the nearest five or 10. For our water flushes, consider rounding to 85 or 90 milliliters for each flush. This will make it easier for the nurses. The last step is to determine the infusion rate. If we are giving a 24 hour pump based infusion, we divide the total volume of formula by 24 hours to get the infusion rate. 1,667 milliliters of formula divided by 24 hours equals 69.4 milliliters per hour. Again, it's okay to round this number to the next five or 10. In our case, you can round to 70 milliliters per hour. Next, let's write your final tube feeding order. 
include the formula name, the rate, and the method of infusion, and the schedule for water flushing. Our final order will read, standard formula 1.2 at 70 milliliters per hour for 24 hours. Flush with 90 milliliters of water every three hours. You did it.